All right, here it is. A lot of people that I mentor, they've been asking me to do a video and upload it on YouTube. And so here it is, my very first YouTube video. Well, each week what I'm going to attempt to do is upload a video that's going to add value to your life, to give you some principles to get from where you are to where you really want to be. I delayed in doing this video because many of you know I just recently relocated back to the United States from Germany. And after 15 years of living in Germany, we're just now getting settled in into Arizona, our new home. And so I didn't have all the equipment set up and I didn't have the studio set up to where I wanted to present a video. But I'm going to give you some of the wisdom that I share with the people I mentor. The first thing that you have to do if you want to get to where you want to be from where you are is you got to get started. And so today I had to take my own advice and just get started. Get started with what you have. Get started with where you're at. Many times when we have the, many times when we want to get to a new location in life and we want to get to a new level in life, we begin to look at all the things that we don't have. And we begin to evaluate and look at all our shortcomings. But today I want to encourage you, no, start where you are, use what you have, and use what you can do. And this is how you get from where you are to where you want to go. You know, some of you watching me, you may want to lose a certain amount of weight. Maybe it may be 25 pounds. Maybe it be 75 pounds. It may be 125 pounds. But I guarantee you this, if you don't start with the first pound, you'll never get to the 175th pound that you want to lose. Many of you want to go back to school, but maybe you may be intimidated because of the type of student you were when you were in high school. Well, if you don't get started, you know, it takes 120 credit hours to receive a bachelor's degree. But if you don't take that first credit, you'll never get to the 120th credit. And so today I want to encourage you to start where you are. Begin to look at what you can do and stop looking at what you can't do. See, many of us have many things that we can't do, but all of us have something that we can do. And so start to focus on the can-dos in your life and not the can'ts of your life. You know, I'm thinking about the time when I first became a professional speaker and a public speaker. I began to look at all the great speakers, the Jim Rohns, the Les Browns, the Tony Robbins, and I began to say, I don't have what they have. But if I kept focusing on what I didn't have, I would never be where I am today. That's 30 countries later on four different continents that I've spoken to in hundreds of audiences all over the world. But it, I started where I was. It wasn't perfect when I started, had some ums and ands, but then what I began to do is to look at what I could do. And so I made myself available. I, I began to join Toastmasters. I began to practice. I began to sharpen my gifts. You know, one of the Bible texts that I like, it says, a gift is as a precious stone. And whatever way that man turns it, it'll prosper him. So I began to take the gifts that I do have. I don't have every gift, but I do have some gifts. And so I begin to take the gifts that I do have, and I begin to sharpen them, and I begin to hone in on them. I begin to look at my story. I know all of us have a story, but the best story that you'll be able to tell is your story. So I begin to look at my story. How could my story encourage other people? How could my story uh, motivate and inspire other people? You know, if you've been following me for some time, you know that I was raised by a single mother in Compton, California. I hardly knew my father. I could probably uh, name a couple of times where I actually spent uh, some quality time with my father. Many of you know that we grew up very poor, but all that is my story. It may not be your story, but it's my story. And so I began to sharpen my story, and what I found out is other people were motivated and inspired by my story. I found out that I could help other people achieve the things that they wanted to achieve by looking at some of the things that I achieved. And so today I want to encourage you, whether it's to go back to school, whether it's to lose weight, whether it's to start that company, whatever it is that you need to start, my, my thing for you today is to get started. Stop looking at what you don't have, look at what you do have, and that's where you start. All of us are not going to have everything that we need to start. One of my other favorite Bible texts is, it says, we walk by faith and not by sight. To walk by faith is to walk in the unknown. See, most people are waiting to see it all come together. Most people need to know the how is it going to work out. 
But all you need to do is be assured that if you put in the proper work, if you take the proper action, it will work. You know, one of the parables is is when the teacher, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. When the student is ready, the teacher will appear. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened. Ask and it shall be given to you. But see, you have to start this thing off. Anything that you want in your life, you have to start it off. And so my encouragement today for you is to get started. You know, this YouTube video is my first YouTube video, and I had to get started. And so by the time you see the end of the Dr. Will Speaks show, you'll be able to say, I saw the first one where he got started, and look at what he's doing today. So my thing to you today is to get started. No matter where you are today, you can begin to the process to go to where you want to be in life. No matter where you are in life, you can get to where you want to be if you just get started. So here it is again. Stop looking at what you don't have. Start concentrating on what you do have. Begin to identify the people that can help you get to where you want to be. Stop talking to the people that don't believe you'll get to where you want to be and begin each and every day to make small steps toward where you want to be. When I mentor people, I tell them about the principle of MSED. What is MSED? That's M-S-I-D. That's making small improvements daily. You want to incorporate that into your life to make small improvements daily, to do one thing that's going to get you closer to your goal. Every night when you go to bed, Ask yourself, did I make the step? Did I take the action step that's going to get me closer to my goal? Each night as you do your evaluation, you'll begin to see that you're one step closer. But you're only one step closer because you started. So I want to encourage you, once again, get started. Don't be a lazy person. Don't be the person that procrastinates. Step away from the majority. Get with the minority and do what it takes to get to where you want to be. Well, this is Dr. Will, and I'll see you next time.